Hello everyone. First, let's go ahead and try running the virtual machine, whether it's going to run or no. So as you can see, it is running the virtual machine smoothly. It means I can just go ahead and run any type of operating system inside of it. So uh, probably you have uh, already read the title of this video, as you can see, the error is this one could not create anonymous page paging file for uh, 4096 MB insufficient system resources exist to complete the requested service. Now, uh, if I have to put it in simple words, when you are trying to install Windows 11 or any other operating system inside a virtual machine with VMware, it is giving you this error because of less virtual memory. Now you have to go ahead and assign uh, a custom memory size for it in order to fix the problem. So how you can fix it, let me show you. All you have to do is just simply press Windows R on the keyboard. Uh, it is going to open the run dialog box. Following by that, you have to type sysdm.cpl, system dl. Now press OK, it's going to open the system properties. As you can see, it is here. Now go to the advanced tab and then under the performance, you will notice that there is a settings option. Now click on it and then uh, go to the advanced tab again. So from here, as you can see, a virtual memory for now is around uh, 10,752. That is a lot and it means I am able to run Windows 11. All you have to do is just simply click on change and go ahead, simply uncheck this option and from here, you have to simply go ahead and check the custom size. Now, depending on your type of computer now and the amount of frame that it has, this may differ. So for now, uh, all I did was just simply change the initial size to the 299 and then the maximum size, I just simply went ahead and gave it around 6000. Now, just simply go ahead, click on set and now go ahead, click OK. And now it is uh, asking you that uh, in order to apply the changes, you will have to restart your computer. Once you restart the computer, the changes will apply and you will be able to simply run any type of virtual machine inside VMware or any other uh, virtual software that you have. So I hope these videos should help you fix the problem that you are facing. For now, have a nice day. Goodbye. And let me know. Okay. Oh, one more thing, by the way, before saying goodbye. If this method is not working, if you have any other solution, let me know your uh, method uh, in the command section because I have used this method and it has simply fixed the problem for me. So depending on different system, the problem may differ on different person. So I hope this video was helpful to you. For now, have a nice day and goodbye.